Hello everyone, we are new part 27 of Laravel 11 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB. So we will continue working on the roles and permissions and in this video we are going to work on the add edit sub-admin in admin panel. In the last video we have seen uh, that we able to show all the sub-admins in the admin panel and we have added these, uh, these sub-admins uh, from Cedar, okay and one of the sub admin we have deleted in the last video to test the functionality of delete okay and active inactive also we have added in the recent videos and now we are going to add here the add edit sub admin icon so that we can able to uh, edit the sub admin as well sorry add sub admin uh, button is here but here we are going to add the edit sub admin as well okay so we are going to work on these things straight away so here is the source code first thing is that we are going to add the route for add edit sub admin and it will support both get as well as the post okay so i'm going to copy this one and will paste in web.php file okay so this is the fast way that we can finish this laravel 11 e-commerce series if you want to see in detail if you want to know every feature then you can follow the laravel 10 series as well only difference is this series sports mongodb instead of mysql okay so you can follow the laravel 10 series for uh, for the complete code like uh, i i wrote their complete code step by step instruction uh, okay so you will get the complete code complete written code i write everything uh, one by one okay uh, but here i just copy paste the things to uh, to so that we can able to finish it as soon as possible okay so uh let's add here the uh add edit sub admin feature and in admin controller i'm going to add this function okay i'm going to open the admin controller and i will add the add edit sub admin function so this is the function in which this function will support the add sub admin as well as the edit sub, sub admin feature along with the validation as well that we we are required for the add edit sub admin okay so like uh, in cedar i have shown you that uh, which are the sub admin fields that the sub admin can able to add and edit okay i will first uh, make it uh, uh, alignment proper alignment okay so here i have shown you that there are a uh, few fields that we can add or edit edit for the sub admin uh, it's same as admin okay so here in the admins collection you can see name type mobile email password image status so these are the fields okay so once i copy this one after that see after copy this one uh, see this all these fields for add and edit this sub admin it is same like we have done for the cms pages okay so whenever there is sub admin request we are going to validate that and we are going to add that sub admin and in the case of edit we are going to edit that sub admin okay so uh, after this we are going to create this add edit sub admin blade file under sub admins under sub admins folder so i will simply open this sub admins blade file that is located inside the sub admin so i will just do it like file save as to save the time okay so that uh, we can uh, simply save this file to the another one so i am going to just simply uh, i will do file save as and here i will simply add the name as add underscore edit underscore sub admin okay i'm going to save uh one more thing i'm going to do here i'm going to open some other file uh one thing is i am going to open that add edit cms page file add edit cms page file and here i'm going to add here the admin okay add edit uh, so here i am going to add the title like we have added the title there as well here also i'm going to uh, add, add the title because the title will come up from here okay uh, sub admin title sometime it will be add sub admin and sometime edit sub admin okay so this title will also come here as well okay and uh, add sub admin that is fine and so okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy that uh, code from uh this complete form sub admin form i'm going to copy and will paste there okay and i'm going to check for its location uh what i'm going to do here i'm going to 
copy this uh, main content so that uh, uh, we can able to uh, work on this one in a perfect way okay so i will just copy this one and now i'm going to uh, change its form okay i'm going to copy now this form and will paste here okay so this is the form i'm going to replace it with the sub admin form okay so now i'm going to check that whether uh, we able to see this sub admin uh, or not okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on add sub admin and we'll see that uh, if form is not displaying right now add uh, sub admin okay so its url is incorrect so i'm going to modify its url in sub admin dot blade dot php file i am going to make its url add edit sub admin okay add edit hyphen sub admin so i'm going to refresh and we'll see now that the form that we have done is opening correctly or not i will click on add sub admin and still it is not opening so i'm going to check its route add edit sub admin okay so it is add hyphen edit hyphen sub admin so still the url is incorrect okay i will make it add uh, edit sub admin like this okay so i will go back we'll try once again i'm going to refresh once again so i'm going to click this one once again add sub admin add hyphen edit hyphen sub admin okay so now it has opened add sub admin okay so this is the form uh, add sub admin form okay so uh, now uh, see I I will uh, add here uh, sub admin okay so uh, yeah I'm going to add here and we'll test that whether I able to add but first I will click on submit and to see that the validation is working okay I'm going to add here okay Amit is already there I will add here John and mobile any mobile nine six one two three four five six seven eight here I am going to make it like the john at the rate of admin.com password is automatically coming 1256 click on submit and we'll see that it is working fine or not and it seems to be some issue uh, okay so it is saying that few classes are missing okay so we are required to add here the use validator uh, it's already there okay so one change we are required to do uh, and that is uh, that we have also done there uh, because there is some change in laravel 11 so i'm going to open that add edit sub admin and here uh, we are required to validate uh, not like this uh, but uh, we are required to validate like uh, valid uh, request i think like this okay maybe uh, it is fine uh, let's see it is not okay i'm going to check here there in cms controller there we have also done and here see request okay this is dollar request validate i am doing something wrong very much wrong okay dollar request validate so this uh so this is the way to validate uh, here okay so we will replace that with this one dollar request validate like this and now it must work fine i'm going to try once again and we'll continue yes now it is working fine okay so i able to add the another sub admin but its status is inactive we can make it active as well okay and uh, now I'm going to work on the edit. Okay, I will I will try to edit it and for edit I will add its uh, icon here in edit sub admin. Okay, in sub admin dot bit dot pp file I'm going to add its icon here and I'm going to add it uh, icon here. Okay, uh, right before delete. I'm going to save it and will click here refresh. Okay, so here I'm going to see now. So it's working uh, fine, and jo okay, so I'm going to click on edit. And here uh, you can see that the complete details are coming here as well. Complete sub admin details are coming here as well. Okay, so uh, now I will try to edit these sub admin details. And here it is the add edit sub admin. Here I'm going to 
try will try to edit these details here and after edit i will try to update like uh, let's see if we enable to update okay so it's wrong so i will rename it to the john singh and will make its number like uh, 97 something and we'll click submit now and we'll see that we able to update or not yes so i able to update this one okay you can see that i able to update okay but one more thing we are required to see here that its number uh, mobile number uh, uh, may be or may not be that uh, you can make it unique as well if you don't want uh, to update the number then you can make it read only as well so it's your choice if you want to make the mobile as read only okay because every sub admin uh, must be having the unique mobile okay so you can make it read only as well so it's your choice so uh, let's see that if there is anything else is pending so we able to add the sub admin we able to edit the sub admin as well now this sub admin we uh, must uh, try to log in and we uh, must update the login function in admin controller so that the sub admin will also log in with the status active only the sub admin will log in with status active status one otherwise if the status is inactive then the sub admin can't able to log in so here uh, uh, in login i'm going to open here the login function and here uh, we are checking with email and password but status we are not checking but we need to check the status as well status must be one okay only then we will allow the sub admin to log in so let's see uh, like uh, first i'm going to uh, like i'm going to make the john singh status as inactive you can see i have make it status inactive now i'm going to try to log in the sub admin in a new ignito window i will try to log in this sub admin let's see if i able to log in with this sub admin or not and i have made the, its status uh, as uh, zero okay in, in inactive so let's try john at the rate of admin.com and password is one two three four five six let's see let's click on sign in see invalid email or password is coming okay so now i'm going to make its status as active okay yes active and now i will try to log in once again john at the rate of admin.com and password one two three four five six let's see if we able to log in yes this time we able to log in because its uh, sub admin status is active right now okay so uh, the sub admin able to log in and see everything but now uh, we need to work on the sub admin roles uh, see we uh, the admin will specify the roles for the sub admin like if the admin specify that the cms page is uh, admin don't want to give uh, permission uh, to to this John Singh sub admin to assess this CMS pages then he can't able to assess right now he can able to assess but if the admin provides uh, the grant uh, to uh, uh, to assess only then the sub admin can assess otherwise he can't able to assess so we will work on these roles uh, and permission in the next video so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye